Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy DJ Shaw one again. Alright, I'm here to show you how to hook up your sound system. I just got the uh, Behringer iNuke NU6000, which is a four channel amplifier. Alright, All right, so I have everything broken down and I'm going to show you step by step how to hook your amplifier up to your speakers and so forth. Or you can use this knowledge to hook up any other amplifier, doesn't matter. Alright, so let's start right here. Alright, here's my controller, DDJ SX2. Alright, I also have the GORAC DBX. And I have a Mackie Pro FX12 V2. Alright, so I'm going to show you step by step how to hook everything up today. Alright, first thing. You want your outputs. How I have mine hooked up, I'm gonna show you. Here's your outputs. Your outputs are gonna go down to your mixer. So it's like you're sending all your signal to the motherboard, which are these two plugs. All right, that will be channel one and channel two. All right, so you plug them in and the outputs or in the back, these two wires, XLRs. It's best to use XLRs or balanced quarter inch jacks, all right? Most equipment that are professional will, will have both options. All right, if it doesn't have the quarter inch, it will definitely have XLRs. XLRs produce a quieter uh, sound, you know, less hissing and so forth. All right, here's the back of the go rack. Okay, the output, from the mixer is coming to the input. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn this around. Which is the input of the DBX go rack. So now what you want is your outputs to go into your amplifier from here. So basically this will be your final step of sending your signal out is the go rack, all right? This is your processor, so you want everything out of here to hit your amplifier. All right. Now let me get those wires and I'll plug them in and we'll continue. All right. So now I have those outputs that are plugged in. I'm going to plug them into the amplifier and then we can start running the wires. All right. Everything is on. Back in place. All right. Let me show you the wires that we'll need. I have quarter inch plugs in the back of my speakers, so I will be using a quarter inch with the speak ons. All right, there they go. You will definitely need heavy duty wires with this. 12 gauge is recommended, but you can go 14. 16 is a little bit light. I don't know for the wattage this amp produces, so I would stay away from 16 or 18. Anywhere from 14 to 12 will be fine. Alright, so let me go ahead and get these plugged in. And I'll show you how everything is ran. Alright. Alright, so here we go. The back of the amplifier. As you can see, we have speak on outputs. And you have XLR and quarter inch inputs. Now, remember coming out of my DBX processor, I only had two plugs, so I won't be using four. So what we'll be using is A, channel A, and channel C, yes, let's see down there. So you have A, B, C and D. So you can have four separate inputs that are coming in totally different signals and you can play as if this is four amplifiers. That's what's so nice about this. So you can have highs, mid, low mid, and subwoofer all playing from one amplifier. Or you can do two mids and two low frequency inputs. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so now everything is plugged in. All my speak-ons are locked. 
and I have my left and right signal in. Now here's the cool thing, the book does show you diagrams of different ways you can uh, hook this up. I'll just let you see here. Okay, shows you different ways of running this. There you go. Alright, this is how I'm doing it. These two channels left and right. And my four speakers. Alright. So I got my nice spaghetti pile going on here. So let me get them all plugged in and we'll turn this baby on and see see how she sounds. All right, give me a sec. Okay, so there you have it. Everything's plugged in. All right. All right. Nice mess just for y'all. All right, there you go. This is real time. No movie video where everything is perfect and no I keep it real as I do it and I'll show you how I do it nothing as neat as yet just took it out the box plugging it up see how she works all right so we are ready to power on everything's plugged in let's watch these lights dim no it shouldn't dim yeah it did dim yep all right, there she go. Speakers came on. All channels active. And go to evil lights. There you go. Gotta love it. All right, fan is not too loud. All right. Back here, so you can hear them. Fan is not too loud. Some people have said the fans are a little loud, but I mean, uh, with music playing, I mean, who's gonna care about the fans? All right. And I'm pretty sure these fans are probably two or three speed, most likely two. Okay. All right. Let's turn the volume up. See what we get. I can't play any top 10 songs because copyright issues with YouTube and so forth. So I'll be playing my personal dub specials, all right, from my sound. Okay, let's turn these up a little notch here first. Okay. Okay. These are these speakers you playing. Okay. I sound to kill King Legend sound. No matter how you search, and I've got to find right. my black CD Okay, so one other thing I forgot to explain. All right, being that you have only two plugs that are plugged in, you have to switch your selection from stereo to mono because you don't have all the plugs plugged into your input. So you have to go ahead and switch these to where it would, now it will combine channel A with channel B and channel C with channel D, okay? So you have to go ahead and switch your stereo selection to mono, which will combine these channels, almost like bridging them, so you don't have to have all four inputs. Okay, so now all four channels will be ignited. Before it was only two, so I had to stop and, and um, go ahead and switch those and turn it off. 
And now let me turn it back on. All right, make sure your volumes are down. Okay. All right. And she comes on, you hear the speakers engage. All right. Okay. We got man like Mikey. Say it from middle quarters, St. Elizabeth people, them. Okay. Luna, man like Mama Don. Say man like Arm. Well, everybody's the working. St. Elizabeth crew. Original Eric Duncan. Now, you won't be able to hear how good it sounds from, from the camera phone or anything like that. But trust me, right now it is playing really good. King Legend Sound is a dance and star. King Legend Sound is a murderation sound. King Legend Killing Sound in every way. Now, see, I love my powered speakers. Love the sound, the easiness of hooking it up, but also love passive. I mean, there's so much more you can do with passive. I mean, if you want it to go louder, I mean, just change your speakers out, you know, do what you have to do, add another amplifier, whatever the case may be. I mean, you can, it's endless. King legend and yeah. on and Now, if you have headphones, you probably can hear it a whole lot better than playing King through the phone. Killing, sing, fun, sound. King Legend Killing Sing Fun Sound. King Legend Pleasure. Sound boy, what's your measure? Yes. Whoa, yeah. Everything is shaking in this room. And I'm playing clean, no clipping King lights. King Legend Sound is our dance on stage. Tops are PV speakers and the bottoms are uh, EV. All right, so PVs and EVs down at the bottom. All right, and they can handle it. I have my bass knob almost all the way. These speakers are not moving. The music King Legend plays. Barely any lights are going. And King Legend and So my overall opinion, I think this amp is well worth it. You can't beat it. For the money, you can't beat it. All right. And I've had several amps, all the top brands. Trust me. This one, the functionality of hooking uh, four independent channels. I mean, gotta love it. All right. It's DJ Show One. I hope you enjoyed. Alright, I'll be coming back at you with some new gears and unboxing vids. Alright, gotta love the mess. This is real time, no movie here. Alright, I'm out. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.